Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Let's solve this equation. This one is pretty straightforward. 3 half b minus 7 equals d over 4 minus 2. Now, we'll see that uh, both of the variables have the same, have the same uh, denominator, or common denominator, which is 4. So what we're going to do is multiply 4 on both sides by the whole equation, uh, which gives us, since we have a 2 left over, we have to multiply that, so it's going to give us 6d. Uh, 4 times negative 7 is negative 28, equals d minus 8, because 2 times 4 is 8, minus 8. And we can subtract the d from this side and subtract the d from that side, giving us 5d. And uh, we'll add 28 to this side, add 28 to that side, giving us uh, 20. Right? Now 5d equals 20. We can do that one in our head. Divide by 5 on both sides, gives us d equals 4. And let's run that by Wolfram Alpha, see if we uh, get the same number. Hit the equal sign. See what we get. It's a geometric figure, of course. It's a point in space. And there's the point in space. The solution is d equals 4. Now I'm kind of curious. Let's see what Google does. If it does anything with um, math equations. Didn't want that. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Hmm. Not really much. Um, show options. Let's see if there's options. No. I know there's a calculator built into Google. Let's see if we can find a Google Calculator. Okay, there's a calculator right there. I don't know if that's going to uh, give us our calculator or not. Well, okay, so it does give um, it should actually give an answer and right in there, but only if it's a simple equation, I guess. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and don't be afraid to play with math.